I just am unable to make a decision. I have no motivation to do things. I overthink things. My head just starts spinning and then I end up doing nothing. I call it lazy, but I, it's more procrastination. Pretty much all day I'm watching just silly shows. I sleep on the couch all the time now because it's, it just makes it a lot easier. I don't have to go upstairs. On average, I sleep probably four to five hours. I just wake up feeling panicky and stressed, so what's the point in sleeping? So I have to really push myself to go in, sit down, turn on the computer. I just start staring at it, and my body just doesn't want me to do it, so I stop. He doesn't know how to clean himself. He doesn't know how to clean his kitchen. He doesn't know how to cook. I have long hair because I don't want to go seek out a new person to get it cut. I don't do laundry very often because I don't wear very many clothes. My house is pretty clean because I literally do nothing. I don't get dirty, so how, how can the house get dirty? He doesn't care what he looks like. I did at least five huge garbage bags full of laundry covered in dog and cat hair. I bought him Velcro shoes because I know he doesn't tie his shoes. That's how much he can't find the energy or ambition to do anything. I just let him hang down if I have shoelaces. I've had a great life so far. I graduated with the degree. I got an amazing job fresh out of college. I ended up buying a half million dollar house. Worst case scenario, I'd be forced to sell my house. The absolute worst case scenario is I'd just take a tent and live out of the wild. It doesn't sound that bad to me, actually. Well, Logan, so you're 30. Mm-hmm, uh -huh. exactly. And you're a smart guy. I think so. So you know that life expectancy for males in the United States is 83.6, uh, right? Mm-hmm. You got a half a century ahead of you. You have an app that has to do with distribution, inventory control, and delivery. Correct, yeah. Of weed, mm -hmm. but I don't care what it is. It's a widget, I mean, it, to control anything. Yep. And it's not complete. Right. The, but how complete is it? It's about 90% done. There's only like a little 10% piece left before I can reach out to my beta tester, who I even have lined up to do that. Yeah, 90% of the work is done. And that last, you take nine steps, and that last step you're, you, you haven't taken. Why? What are you afraid of? I, I'm not really afraid of anything. I, I've even pushed myself. I go into my office. I, I have an office dedicated for working only. There's no play or anything. I have two big monitors and my laptop screen. I can, the most I can do is force myself. I sit down, I open up all the programs and the simulators, and then I just, I stare at it, and something in my mind and body is telling me you really don't want to do this, and I cannot force myself to type on the keyboard or anything, and I end up getting back up and leaving the office. I don't care. All right. I don't care. <laughs> I absolutely don't care what it is. It doesn't make any difference. It really doesn't. Mm -hmm. When I listen to what you say to yourself, which you apparently don't do, I don't ask myself why he's stacked up on the couch. I ask him why not. I wrote down some of the phrases. I'm super lazy. Chronic procrastination. I lack motivation. What's the point? I'm really unable to do anything. If you believe this then why in God's name would you attempt to do anything? Well, I believe I'm able to do anything. No, you tell yourself, I'm really unable. That's what you say to yourself. We speak at 120 words a minute. We think at 1,250 words a minute. You think that a lot. Motivation is at zero. My mind and body don't connect. Choosing what to eat is stressful. I can't make a decision. It's horrible to wake up, get out of bed, no purpose, just a dumb step. This is what you're saying to yourself all day at 10 times faster than you can speak. Correct, yeah. You know about programming. Yeah. This is your programming. And what are you doing? Exactly that. You're doing exactly what you're programming yourself to do. Uh, please welcome Coach Mike Bear. Now, uh, Coach Mike Bear is 
a life coach. Now, he's also the author of Best Self, Be You Only Better, and the soon-to-be-released One Decision. He's a New York Times best-selling author, and I consider him the best at helping people maximize their true potential. You are who he exists for. All right. You know, when you say, what's the point, what you're saying is, what's the purpose? And right now, you have no purpose. Right. And sometimes, you have to create a purpose and go, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do this new purpose called living a bigger life. And the question is, if you're willing to do that. Yeah, I'm willing to do it. Are you willing to go to any lengths? Yeah. Any lengths. I'm a strong believer that you got to shake it up to break it up. Change something. Change something. You got to shake it up to break it up to signal, get new stimuli, signal it's a new day. Are you ready to signal it's a new day? Yeah, I am. I don't know if this is possible, but what I'd love to do is seize this moment and bring someone out or see if someone's available to start cutting your hair while we're continuing this conversation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you think that'll help, don't you? I think you definitely need to start acting in the moment to start changing. I don't know if this is possible, but... Well, anything's possible. I'm going to take you through a series of actions to reinvent your life. Okay. Yeah? I'm at a loss, so if you're the professional, you know what you're doing, I'm, I'm willing to do whatever you think is right. I've made a list. I've written down some of the things, like brushing your teeth once a week. We'd get into a routine of brushing your teeth twice a day. Mm -hmm. You haven't been to a dentist in, since 2008. Sounds about right. Uh, respectfully, I mean, the, it's like having candy corn as teeth. We got to get you in there and check that out <laughs> because you're going to be miserable down the road, right? Mm -hmm. You uh, shower once every one to two weeks, so it's showering daily. So I got a question about that. Yeah. If, if I'm not getting sick, my skin's still looking good, why do I need to shower more often? Can, can I answer that? Please. Well, how about some preventive maintenance? How about taking care of your skin so it doesn't go to hell in a handbasket and later you have all kinds of problems? You have to do maintenance. We have a structured time you wake up. So you'd be getting up at 7 a.m. You would be working on the app. You would have dedicated time, focus, and we would just do it. I mean, we'd have a deadline. Let's say we want to get it done in two weeks and we would just say, here's the deadline. It's as if we're turning on an exam or something important. So we would just get it done. And then I also think he needs structure in terms of his own mental health. And so what I'm willing to offer him is a program uh, where he'd be getting 10 hours, nine hours of that would be group therapy, one hour of individual therapy, and getting a, a plan in place to really work through all this. So as you're going through the motions, you're able to figure out, like, why am I not waking up and feeling like I want to, you know, get on top of this life? So you'd be talking about that with a therapist. It will get you back really quick. You are not... Uh, someone that is going to take long to get back on your feet. I would love for you to walk off this stage today with shoes, with shoelaces. I know I'm asking for a lot, but I really think the Velcro shoes need to disappear. Are there shoes anywhere? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, because if there are, I really would like to see them. You have shoes? Oh, amazing. Oh my God, we oh, even have right. shoes. Wow. So I want you to take off those. Because literally, it's walking through life being that better version of yourself and not just waiting until next week or the following month or going, why am I doing this? You're just doing it. There's your before okay. and after. <laughs> All right, side by side. Yeah, so it is. Uh, well, hey, it's me, and thank you so much for watching. And while I have you, do you have a story or a question for me? If so, trust me, I want to hear from you. Click on the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on. You just might end up right here on the show. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Click that little red button below. You know you want to. What are you waiting for? Do it!